This is ESA astronaut Alexander Gerst calling from the International Space Station. As you can see, I'm busy working inside Columbus, our European laboratory in space. Together with the teams on the ground all over Europe, I have set out to contribute to new discoveries to make Earth, our spaceship, a better place to live on. This is what Mission Blue Dot is about. When asked about the merit of research in space, you and I uh, probably have the same answers. Science on board the ISS is driven by curiosity to understand the influence of gravity on everything on Earth. As with all science, the expectation is that once we know more about our research objectives, we may come to better solutions to practical problems on Earth. This is a realistic expectation if you look at the results of ISS research already in just a few years. So you and I have an answer to that question, concrete examples. For example, did you know that in just a few years we went from robots assisting astronauts to robots performing actual brain surgery? The space station's Canadarm, which we operate for the birthing of cargo vehicles to ISS, and the smaller Dexter robot assist the ISS crew in precision tasks. The de technology derived from these robotic arms contributed to the design and development of NeuroArm, the world's first robot capable of performing surgery inside magnetic resonance machines, which is used with patients who have otherwise inoperable brain tumors. So we in ESA are doing the METRON experiment series to best exploit the enormous potential of robotic support to exploration. In another field, we develop new vaccines by looking at salmonella being more virulent in space. Salmonella microbes become more virulent in microgravity, which indicates the ability of a pathogen to cause disease. Thanks to research on board ISS, scientists could identify genetic master switches that regulate virulence in bacteria and use this discovery to start developing new candidate vaccines. So we in ESA continue to work on immune system response to microG because we think that there lies a key to improved vaccine treatments on Earth. Another example. With Thermolab, we developed a new type of thermometer. The new sensor used for the Thermolab and circadian rhythm experiments is a typical example of equipment brought from space to Earth. The non-invasive instrumentation is used on Earth to protect the lives of people working just like us astronauts in extreme environments and conditions. Firefighters, steel workers, soldiers in mission, and so on. So, I need to go back to my work now, but believe me, I have more examples of that kind. And I will be glad to spend some more time talking about it with you when I'm back on our beautiful planet Earth, the blue dot in space. Yeah.